hi guys welcome to my vogue inspired makeup tutorial makeup routine i'm gonna be teaching you guys how i get a flawless base for my everyday makeup routine first tip that i'm going to be giving to you guys today is always ensure that your brows are well trimmed as you can see this saves you a lot of time and it helps you move through your routine even faster so my brows are trimmed and ready to go so i like to do a makeup routine that is quick natural fresh and you can still see through my natural beauty so first off i like to go in with a moisturizer i'm going to be using this one from simple it's just a light moisturizer so that's the first thing i'm going to do and i'm just going to let this sit in don't forget to also get your neck i'm just going to let this sit in for a while i also like to go underneath my eyes because i apply concealer there once i'm done with that i'm going to go in with a mattifying primer and this one is from a nigerian brand we just want to put this basically everywhere you get oily so another tip is to use a mattifying primer if you want your makeup to last all day so this one is just going to sit in here for about two minutes if you have a fan you don't have to wait any longer so next thing i'm going to be doing is foundations foundations are very very crucial for your makeup routine for your foundation routine for a flawless base i mix a lot of foundations two foundations one foundation three foundations to get the perfect shade if you're melanin skin like me you very much know that we don't have an even skin tone so today i'm going to be using the milani foundation and also the nars foundation i'm also going to be going in with the black opal foundation Once I'm done contouring, I have that definition that I need and all I have to do is just add up foundation to places where I need them the most, which is like my dark um, mark area. blend like no matter how long it takes you need to blend your foundation in it takes me about five minutes two minutes sometimes to blend my foundation and i noticed that the longer i blend everything out the more seamless my face looks and um yeah everything just lasts longer it doesn't move so take your time to blend your foundation now the next thing i do is to bring back highlight to my face and to do that i'm using two concealers so these are the two shades that i'm using um sort of one that is closer to my shade and a brighter one so i like to layer this on to bring back that light i'm going to start off with the um, darker one and i like to do it towards the exterior part of my face and just underneath so make sure you don't drag your concealer downwards otherwise it makes your face droop and then i'm also going to put it here and the center of my face bridge of my nose and i'm going to go in with the um, lighter concealer just underneath my eyes which is about here and then I'm also going to bring it up this way so that will help elevate your face and lift your face do next is I'm going to start to blend and you want to start with the one closer to your chin and forehead so the one underneath your eyes can you know dry up as much as possible and I like to use the foundation brush because it still has like a bit of foundation 
and I just blend everything together so that is all blended and like I said if you have a fan you can use a fan but I like to make sure that my concealer is you know a bit tacky pro tip is to use dry a dry beauty sponge to blend the concealer under your eyes guys this hack is amazing and it makes the concealer not move and you just take it upwards and you lift your face so that's what I've been doing now and it really really helps me a lot guys So that is my concealer all blended literally two seconds once you're done blending you're going to go in with setting powder to make sure that you set all of that so i'm just going to go in with a little bit of my setting powder and also with the um, beauty sponge And just press that in so once I'm done with that the next thing I like to do is set all over my face with powder and just make sure that everything is well blended and Mats. So I like to use a powder puff because I've noticed that this works better for me. So I'm gonna be contouring with this powder from Maybelline. bronzer today I'm using these two products from Beauty Bay these are very lovely blunt bronzer and blush so this is what they look like so what I like to do is I just like to dip in both uh, but more so the blush and just go in there and just bring that flush of color back to my face up is brows I'm using this brow pencil from eyebrow queen and this is what it looks like I really really love this brow pencil so I don't have to do much to my brows that's why I said always make sure that your brows are carved so all you have to do is just like create like thin strokes you know and literally that's it so I'm not doing much to my eyes just going to take in um, leftover eyeshadow leftover concealer and just go over my eyes like i said this is an everyday makeup routine i really don't do too much afterwards i'm going to go in with my bronzer and just like put that all over my eyes Afterwards, I'll go in with liquid eyeliner. I'm using this one from Beauty Bay. And then I just do like the tip. Nothing 
too fancy. So I just like to create like marks all over my face. Basically like And then to line my lips today, I'm using this lip color. I'm going for a natural lip color. And I'll be using this from Maybelline. Once that is done, I'm using this lipstick from 3 Inner, and this is the shade that it comes in, such a pretty, you know, pinkish shade, and I'm just going to use that like at the center. So yeah guys, I am done with the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me just bring my microphone closer. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about this kind of video. I wanted to do a Vogue inspired makeup tutorial taking you guys step by step as to how I get my everyday makeup routine. A flawless face that blends with my skin tone and you know looking natural and still looking like yourself. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and until next time bye for now bye